Hi, I'm Andrea Paul, and I'm here to discuss one of our uh, board question bank questions, and today we're going to be talking about a pathology question. Um, so the question reads, a 16-year-old female presents with a rapidly enlarging abdominal mass. Her blood smear shows these un unusual cells, which you see in the question here, and it asks, what is the diagnosis? Um, so besides recognizing, you know, from the image, um, you may recognize right away what that diagnosis is, but you know, still try and think about it maybe without the image. What, what would you think about when you have a rapidly enlarging abdominal mass in a 16 year old? Um, and so the options are acute myeloid leukemia, Burkitt lymphoma or Burkitt leukemia, Hodgkin lymphoma or small cell, um, small lymphocytic lymphoma uh, or CLL, and granulocytic sarcoma. And so, you know, I think Besides the image, you're kind of already led to thinking about Burkitt um, leukemia or Burkitt lymphoma because of this rapidly enlarging mass and also the location being in the abdomen. Um, so this is a really aggressive uh, B cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma and it's characterized, this may be another board question on this, is by um, the translocation and deregulation of the MYC gene on chromosome 8. So that's something you really want to um, keep note of and remember because that may be you know, the question on the same topic. Um, three distinct forms are recognized. So there's endemic, which is um, also called African type, sporadic non-endemic type, and also an immunodeficiency associated. So these are actually identical when you look at them histologically, but they just have you know, they have similar clinical behavior, but differences in epidemiology, differences in presentation, um, and then also some genetic features can be um, differentiated between the forms. So the endemic form is found mostly in Africa and New Guinea. Sporadic is seen here in the United States, also in Western Europe. And then in immunodeficiency type is seen in um, patients with HIV, but also other immunodeficiencies, um, such as recipients of transplants and um, other um, immunocompromised uh, situations. And so Usually these patients present with a rapidly growing tumor. Um, a lot of times they have evidence of tumor lysis, so really high serum lactates um, and uh, elevated uric acid levels, all from uh, you know tumor lysis syndrome. And the tumor doubling time is very short. That's why it's rapidly increasing. So it's actually 20, it can be 25 hours for doubling time. Um, the endemic form usually presents in the jaw um, or the facial bones in you know, more than half of, up to 60% of cases. Um, Non-endemic, so the type you'll see more in the United States and Western Europe will present in the abdomen. And then immunodeficiency related can present in a multitude of ways, but uh, most often in lymph nodes, bone marrow, also um, central nervous system. And so the classic pathology appearance, you see that moth-eaten um, appearance with uh, coagulative necrosis and um, hemorrhage uh, grossly and at low power. Uh, really high rate of proliferation, <laughs> so you'll see a lot of, um, you know, a lot of high rate of mitosis and a lot of apoptosis. Um, you see on a lower um, resolution that starry sky appearance, so that classic um, starry sky pattern that um, should give it away if that's, you know, if you're provided that type of image, which isn't in this question. Um, in this question, you see these uh, benign histiocytes. Those are actually the stars in the starry sky. So these are large with abundant clear cytoplasm, and they have, uh, you know, a lot of these little vacuoles in them that you'll see, and that's what also um, makes them, you know, become these the stars. So when you look at and then high, you know higher power, um, you'll see these histiocytes. Um, they're really irregularly shaped. They have a lot of clear cytoplasm, pale nuclei, and a lot of inconspicuous um, nucleoli. So those are kind of the classic findings. Um, and if you take a look at images uh, you know, on high and low resolution, you should see these classic findings. So thanks so much. We'll see you next time.